The last major amateur pro qualifier of the year is officially in the books, and what a weekend it was down in Miami, Florida at this year's NPC National Championships. In men's bodybuilding, we saw Sean Vasquez vault himself into the record books as the latest in a long line of great NPC National overall champs. While in women's bodybuilding, a spectacular Sharice Johnson soared high to take home top honors. In the men's physique division, overall winner Godfrey Saranda looks like someone we'll be hearing a lot more from in years to come, along with classic physique champ George Peterson, who cruised to his big win in impressive fashion. Women's physique winner Vanessa Nishime was brilliant from the moment she stepped on stage, and as was figure overall champ Tiffany Herbert. And closing out the evening in an absolutely loaded bikini division was Ginny Murders, who became the latest and greatest to add the title of Bikini National Champion to her resume. In case you missed any of the coverage from all the wild events that went down this past weekend, you can check out all the results, placings, and wrap-ups and contest photos at rxmuscle.com. With arguably the best season of his pro career officially in the books, Ben Pakulski doesn't seem to be wasting any opportunity to repeat the process again in 2017. Late last week, some video surfaced of a monstrous looking version of Pakulski grinding out another intense chess session as he chugs full speed ahead through the latest phase of the off-season program. This season had dramatically improved, Pakulski scored his first career win in front of his hometown crowd at the Vancouver Pro before going on to make the most out of his second career Olympia appearance. Over the past few years, Pakulski has really done a lot to improve every phase of his game and it shows each and every time he sets foot on stage. If he can get another productive offseason behind him and pick his spots correctly, there's a very real chance that we see Ben Pakulski make his way back to the Olympia stage for a second straight season. After a bit of a wild contest season that saw him once again solidify his place as one of the top 212 athletes in the business, Jose Raymond seems to be getting back to business as usual. In some new training footage we see the Boston Mass absolutely smashing a recent chess training session as he slowly but surely eases his way back into the swing of things. Despite not capturing the crown for a second straight year at the Arnold Classic, like many predicted, Raymond still had one heck of a season and doesn't appear to be showing any signs of slowing down. We've seen Raymond do his best work over the years when he's been able to remain injury free and just focus on doing what he does best, training balls to the wall hardcore. So if he can keep the injury bug at bay and focus 100%, expect to see a full strength Jose Raymond back in business at the Arnold Classic in March. With another standout season in the record books that saw him take another major leap forward, the baddest man in bodybuilding is off to a running start so far this offseason. Over the weekend, new chess training footage surfaced of a larger than life version of Big Rami, squeezing in some time for a quick pump session. This year, the big man cracked the top five at the Olympia for the second straight season and cleared a major championship-sized hurdle by the name of Dexter Jackson in his win at the Kuwait Pro Championships. By anyone's account, this year, Rami's physique really took a massive leap forward and finally started to show signs of getting into that rarefied, untouchable air that we've all been waiting for him to reach. If he can just manage to stay focused and committed over the next 12 months, there's a legitimate chance we see him take the next step and potentially fight his way up to a top two Olympia finish. While we saw all sorts of new stars emerge this year with the birth of the classic physique division, and there weren't too many of them that shined brighter than our old friend Arash Rabar. This season, Rabar really burst onto the scene with huge back-to-back -back wins at the Pittsburgh and New York Pro Shows, and his top three finish at the inaugural Classic Olympia was really the coup de grace on a fantastic year. A few weeks into his offseason, Rabah really seems to be getting back into a nice groove and appears to be well on his way towards picking right back up where he left off once the calendar rolls over. With a few more finishing touches added here and there, Rabah has a real shot to be right in the mix of things at the big dance again next season. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. 
make your mark. Check out ironmaglabs.com today. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.